Are you sick and tired of waiting weeks for your film to process, only to have it come back looking like this? White? Why the hell is it all white? Or this? Would it kill you to give me something gray? Well, if I got the... Don't look at me, look at where I'm gonna be. Well, if I got the product for you. Hi there, viewers. I'm Alex, and I got this pretty cool thing to show you. So come on and follow me. Cut. Introducing the Siconic Studio Deluxe 3. With this little slice of heaven right here, you can shoot in beautiful locations such as this. <sighs> Woo! Man. You can just feel that sun. No, we're not actually on the beach. Whatever. Before you do anything on your light meter, you will need to set your ISO. The number here will be labeled on your box of Kodak film. In our case, it is 200. In order to get this bad boy chugging along, you'll need to hold it in front of your subject and press the center button for a second. Man, look at that needle soar. Next, you'll need to line up the black triangle with where your red needle lands. Finally, you're going to find your frame rate at the bottom of the wheel and note which f-stop it is lined up with. In our case, this is f4. Then, you will subtract two f-stops and that is what you will set your aperture for. In our case, it is f2. One more thing to keep in mind before it's blown is that when shooting outdoors and the needle maxes out, take the high slide from the rear of the device and put it into the top slot. Guys, that was so easy. What the hell is wrong with you guys? The only thing you have to do differently when using a high slide is lining up your foot candles reading with the red H triangle on the top of the wheel. Besides that, Everything is the same. Well, that'll be it for today, folks. Remember that this little device- CUT! Mike, what the fuck? I had a sweet slogan for this shit. Screw it, I'm going to my trailer.